Hello everyone, it's Victor here and welcome to Victor's Tiny Kitchen where we cook Filipino favorites and more. You know, two weeks ago there was a fundraising activity for the Autism Foundation in Canada and they were selling herring fish, wild caught Canadian herring fish. And so I thought in my own little way I would contribute to the Autism Foundation and I was really, really glad to do it. And so since I have tons of supply of herring fish in my fridge, I was thinking of making something that is really close to home, and that would be adobo. And by the way, this is a different type of adobo because I wouldn't be using soy sauce in this. Soy sauce has a lot of unhealthy stuff in it, especially wheat, and I'm not going to use it anymore. No offense meant to those who are still using soy sauce, but for me this is for my health. So I hope you'd stick around with me until the very end of this video and let's have fun together cooking this herring fish adobo. Let's get started. First we need to clean up our fish and I am using six pieces of them, big sized herring fish. And I've already scaled them, removed the uh, entrails as well as the, the gills. And now let's proceed to the next step. So since we're not going to be using any soy sauce in this dish, we'll try to compensate that by making our own concoction. And I'm going to be using my mortar and pestle here to combine my ingredients together. So first to go in would be half a teaspoon of anato seeds. And we are going to add half a teaspoon of coriander seeds. And we are also going to add one tablespoon here of whole corn pepper. And to add color and smoky flavor in our dish, we're going to add half a teaspoon here of Spanish paprika. And for some zing, we're going to add a pinch of our crushed pepper. And now that all of my solid ingredients are in here, we're going to crush them all using my pestle here. We'll apply force in grinding this one. So after vigorously pounding my ingredients, this is what I have here. They're all now powderized and we are now ready to put in our liquid ingredients. And the first liquid to go in here would be half a can or 200 ml of coconut milk. We're going to give it a stir. And see how the anatole powder has transformed the color of this liquid ingredient. And another liquid to go in here would be my seasoned coconut nectar vinegar. We're going to add about three tablespoons. That's it. We're going to give it a quick stir again. And we are going to season it with salt. Just a pinch to give it a final stir. And I'm not yet done cooking, but the smell of this thing here is really, really awesome. And of course, I'm going to give it a taste. Mmm, yummy. So our liquid ingredient is now ready. We're going to set this aside for now and let's proceed to the next step. And for the next step, we're going to be using our pan here. And so since our pan is already nice and hot here, I'm going to add extra virgin coconut oil. We're going to spread it. And now that our oil is nice and hot, I'm going to add a quarter thumb of finely minced organic ginger. I know some people don't use ginger in their adobo, but I do. I love ginger for my adobo. You know, I love how it adds a different dimension of flavor in my adobo. So I'm just going to let it sweat and let it release its fragrance as well as its awesome flavor. And now that my ginger is slowly releasing its fragrance, I'm going to add my onion. We're just going to give it a stir, season it with a bit of salt, and let's wait until our onion here becomes translucent. And now that my onion is translucent, it's time for me to add my five cloves here of finely minced garlic. 
give it a stir. And at this point, I'm going to add half of my prepared red bell pepper. And we're going to use the other half of our red bell pepper for the garnishing layer. And then at this point, I'm going to add bay leaves. I'm just crushing the bay leaves here. Just to make sure that they release their flavor. Exposing the fragrance of it. Give it a stir. And finally, we're going to add our liquid mixture. But first, we're going to give it a quick stir. And then pour it into our pan here. So I'm just rinsing my mortar here with a quarter cup of water. And I'm just pouring all of the liquid in my pan here. We'll give it a stir. And what we're going to do at this point is to cover this and let this simmer for two to three minutes. And that would be about enough time to let all our ingredients come together and also cook our coconut milk. It's been two minutes and our sauce here is ready. At this point what I'm going to do is to add my herring fish in it. Just going to blend them up, each one of them. And here. And then we're going to season it with salt. And then we're going to base the top of our fish with our sauce here. And then since my sauce is very sticky here, I'm going to add a quarter cup of water just to kind of loosen it up. Like that. Crank up the heat a bit. And we're going to shake it. Shake it a bit. Make sure that all the ingredients are well mixed together. And we will cover this and let this come to a simmer for one or two minutes. And once that's done, we're going to flip our fish to the other side. So it's been two minutes since our fish here has been simmering in this sauce. And now it's time for us to flip them over and give the other side a chance to absorb the beautiful, delicious adobo sauce. And I will let my fish here continue to simmer for another minute or two. And once that's done, our fish will be ready to serve. We are back here with our final product, our paleo or soyless gluten-free herring fish adobo. This is one very healthy dish and I'm proud of making it. I've already tasted it and I'm not going to taste it right now, but it's guaranteed to be really delicious and healthy. So I hope you give it a try and once you do, let me know what you think about your own version of it by writing down your comments in the comment section below. Thank you for watching today and please don't forget to click the subscribe button and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye for now.